I don't know how we survived the 90s, let alone breakfast. Remember Cookie Crisp? If you told somebody today that you fed your kids chocolate chip cookies for breakfast, they would call child services. To this day, I don't know what's in a Pop-Tart. I know one thing ain't Nan Strawberry in a strawberry Pop-Tart. For all we know, it could be strawberry-scented candle wax, but it's delicious, so we eat it. Not Nan Fruit was in them loops, but we ate it like it was part of the food pyramid with a crazy-ass mascot floating around seeing Fruit Loops everywhere high on acid. Talking about some follow me nose. I know a cokehead when I see one. Follow me nose. That is a cokehead battle cry. Tony the Tiger pushing steroids on kids. Everybody knows that the secret to becoming a world class athlete, frosting. Ain't no kid about to grow into a D1 player, hopped up on frosted flakes. This nigga juicing. Shout out to everybody that thought Sunny D was orange juice growing up. That shit was neither orange nor juice. Lucky Charms. They took a box full of marshmallows, threw some kitty litter in it, and said it was a balanced breakfast. And we ate it. Damn, a rabbit's foot. You was lucky they ain't cut off your feet. We had a rabbit literally turning tricks for some damn series. What kind of message is that for kids? And if you don't recognize none of these characters, it's because you grew up with your mama buying the off-brand series that was on the bottom of the shelf in the plastic bag. No shame, but the message still applies. Cereals we grew up on part D. Captain Crunch. You won't find Nan Crunch Berry growing in the woods, the forest, park. The only places them berries was growing was in the lab. And them berries was all we gave a damn about. We could have cared less about them little yellow nuggets. Them things could have doubled as flotation devices. When they came out with just the berries, that was OD. The kids who ate those, we ain't seen them since. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Let's take little cardboard boxes and douse them in cinnamon and sugar. Low-key Cinnamon Toast Crunch was the first actual cinnamon challenge. After one bowl, you covered in cinnamon dust till dinner. Now they got Cinnamon Toast Cinnabons. I was in the store the other day. They got Cinnamon Toast Churros. Churros for breakfast? Man, if your parents fed you shredded wheat, you might as well have been a damn barn animal. I don't care if your shredded wheat had frosting on it or not. It was the same barrel of hay. Yeah, they thought you was the goat, but they did not mean greatest of all time. My granny gave me shredded wheat one time. I thought I was chewing on a scarecrow. And shout out to the kids who requested shredded wheat. If you knew a kid that ate shredded wheat on purpose, you knew to stay on their good side. They ain't got nothing to lose. Now, Rice Krispies came out way before the 90s, but it took about 30 seconds for them Krispies to turn to mush. After 30 seconds, you ain't hear nan, snap, crackle, or pop. I'm like, is these things drowning? Damn near every cereal back then was either a crunch, a crisp, or a a puff. If you had asked your parents if you could eat a Hershey bar for breakfast, they would have looked at you like you was crazy. But a bowl full of chocolate milk with some puffs in it? No problem. And shout out to all the bougie bitches that had toaster strudels. We in the kitchen putting icing on a strudel like we just graduated from culinary school. You are in Nebraska, not Le Cordon Bleu. Cereal in the 90s part 3? Honey Smacks? They told you in the name what kind of time they was on. Smacks? Our parents felt comfortable feeding us smack for breakfast. And they knew better because they grew up in the Heron era. Nothing about this frog says balanced breakfast. Even the frog looked like it's addicted to smack. Yo, who names they cereal life, son? Eating life cereal did not make you feel alive. It made you feel like you was being punished for something. What the hell did we know about life? The irony of what we know now as adults, eating life cereal as a kid. Every box of life cereal should have came with a light bill. With two proofs of purchase, you can get a knee replacement. And let's not forget somebody once dunked an Oreo into a glass of milk and thought to themselves, breakfast. Corn pops. There was zero creativity behind this one. They gave us crunchy styrofoam with sugar on it said, bon appetit. Golden grams. Golden? These things was golden brown. It was basically sugar with a side of cardboard. If you grew up eating Special K, you were nine going on 40. Cheerios slap. I don't care what you say, Cheerios slap. All of them, honey nut, apple cinnamon. I will die on this cereal hill. The fact that we ate cereal already covered in corn syrup and then went to the cupboard and grabbed more sugar, poured it on top of that cereal, ate the cereal, and still had that sugar mush at the bottom of the bowl. And then our parents was like, off to school you go? What could possibly go wrong? How did we survive breakfast cereals part four? Apple Jacks. What Nan Apple in a box of Apple Jacks? Our taste buzz was on an identity crisis every single morning. You'd be more likely to find an apple inside of a pair of apple bottom jeans than you would a box of Apple Jacks. We used to bite into a real apple and be like, what the hell is this? This don't taste like Apple Jacks. If you ate Raisin Bran as a kid, you must have at least been partially raised by your grandparents. You grew up watching Matlock reruns and Wilford Brimley commercials. Raisin Bran bragged about giving us two scoops of raisins covered in sugar on top of flakes covered in sugar. And then we put more sugar on top of the sugar. They forgot to mention two scoops of diabetes. You was gonna need two scoops of insulin. Count Chocula, the only vampire that's allergic to garlic, daylight, and nutritional value. We might as well take some M&Ms, put them into a bowl, and pour milk on top of it. 
Ta-da! Breakfast. We just had every world-class athlete trying to convince us that if we ate a box, we too could become Olympic champions. You had as much chance as becoming a brain surgeon from watching Grey's Anatomy. Better eat your Wheaties. Better check your blood pressure. King Vitamin. Boy, boxes of that old-ass series was passed down from generation to generation. King Vitamin was about as nutritious as the crown on that man's head. The only thing royal about this cereal was the royal flush you was going to have to use after you ate a bowl. There wasn't nan fruit in them daggone pebbles. You'd be more likely to pet Dino in real life life and find one lick of fruit in them pebbles. Hell, I'd be more inclined to believe there was actual pebbles in that box than to think there was some fruit. This was supposed to be a balanced breakfast. I could hardly keep my balance after one bowl.